Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Cloud here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we got a few more encounters. I found a fossil in Mirage Tower, not Castle. And I got a pretty nice luck type Pokemon out of that. If you're interested in that, you can go to the description down below and I'll link the playlist and you can check that out. But in today's episode, we will be going to fight the Petalburg Gym and meet up with our dad. Honestly, that probably won't take too long, so we'll probably also get a probably one, maybe two encounters. We might get up to the Weather Institute, I'm not sure. But we'll try our best here. I'm ready to just go right into the gym. I'm gonna wheelie in there. I wish you could wheelie in every game. That's like one of my favorite things to do. You know, I guess while we're just doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and do the question of the day because I just kind of feel like it. What is one weird thing about you? Now, this isn't like a general sense of weird. It's like what you consider like weird about you, and that can be a pretty hard question. But let me get this a little bit of thought here because I'm actually not too certain. That did not do a lot of damage. Um, hmm. Something weird about me. Hmm. Interesting. And I'll be honest, I think I have to go back to my own question of the day once I actually have something like I can think of that's weird about me. I'm sure there is something, it's just like, it feels normal to me, so it's not considered weird in my mind. You know, they have level 26, so I think I'm actually on par at level 30. I did not think trainers in the gym would use potions. Boy, this is gonna take a little while. But anyways, if you guys can think of something that's weird about you, you can link and you can comment down below. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, sure. I don't think you can even touch Nancy. Not without foresight, at least. Or does foresight work? Ghost types to normal types? Interesting. Let's see. One weird thing. I thought that would work better. That's the only move that I can actually hit it with. So, let me see if I can get a poison off on this. Hmm. There we go. Let's see, I mean, like, I like playing Pokemon, that's not really weird. What is something weird? Alright, um, my feet are always cold. I don't, I don't know why. Like, I, I can wear socks and they just, like, don't warm up. They're just constantly cold. I don't know if that's something weird, but... I consider it weird, because like the rest of my body is almost always warm. This one part of my body, my feet are just cold. I'm guessing I have like poor circulation or something, but I think it's weird. Like I said, comment section down below, tell me something weird about yourself. I'd really appreciate that feedback. You know, I always forget how much, um, Defense does clock test. And I did not read that right. I think I, I think I read like um 
Uchiana or something like that? Just, I did not read that full thing. I feel like pretty attached to my these four core members. I can rely on them. Honestly, wish I could give Fat a little bit more power. I'm pretty sure my teams really work well. Like I'm still disappointed in my um, uh, Steel Wing TM being. Um, Steel wing being wing attack. It's like that's okay. It's not great or anything. Hmm. All right. I guess we're switching to uh, headbutt. It's unfortunate I thought Bagsire was more physically bulky than special bulky. Or it's just bulky. Does this thing have an attacking move? Man, I'm just making bad decisions right now. And I don't think I have anyone with the grass type moves, so I can't really do that. I'm just kind of stuck hitting it over and over. I was not paying attention, so I do not know what that thing just hit me with. You know, for some reason I'm thinking, um, my dad's ace here is going to be like the early one. That sounds right in my head. Oh, there we go, fat. Mm. Just stab him with that horn on your head. I feel like they should make an actual like narwhal Pokemon. I think that'd be something to be really cool. Not not a good like starter Pokemon, but kind of like how you could probably have be a two stage Mon, kind of like um, Whalemur and Whale Lord. You know, it's like it's like a baby version of itself, and then it just kind of gets bigger. Um, I don't know. Do I want to heal? Nah, I'm sure we're fine. No, I don't. I just don't like giving a voice to him again. I get really like turned off on voices, even though like they're really funny. It's just really turned off on them because they aren't very fun whenever you only have to use them like once or twice. Like more constant use characters should have voices. Alright, obviously he's gonna heal, so I can just have him use up all his potions right now. Yep. I think he has... Is it two hyper potions, I think? Maybe I'll just high roll. Or crit. Crit works too. Don't you know, I keep thinking about my question today, it's like... What is... what is weird? I feel like that really is, like, to the person. But I mean, like, when I think of, like, weird stuff, I think of, like, maybe someone has, like, webbed toes, like, that, that'd be something, like, weird and un unusual. But it'd also be super cool. Is 29 his ace? That's just annoying. I just don't deal with that.
And what else? What else could I consider weird? Um. Oh, well, that's annoying. Still annoying. Um. That's weird. I wouldn't consider, like, I don't feel like blindness or, like, being deaf would be considered weird. It's just abnormal. Because, like, a normal, you think of a normal human being, and you think of, like, an average person, like, they're probably average height. I think of probably, like, a... Um, Caucasian person. But I mean, I guess it's really hard to classify what weird is. Because it really is up to the person what they consider is weird. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was. Like, you liking a certain thing most likely isn't weird. Like, Hey, I like anime. That's cool. That's just an interest. It's not something weird. Alright, yeah. So his ace is 31, so I, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm on par now. I don't know how Flareon's more helpful than Beautify. Like, it would be better just wait for me to take out Beautify and safe switch in Flareon. If I can hit this double kick, it has sand attack me a lot. Oh, come on. You have a berry? You have a citrus berry. Can I have a citrus berry? Like, I, I would love a citrus berry. Can I? Oh, I need to hit my double kick, too. That's gonna do nothing. Come on, playing that double kick. There we go. Right in his face. Two. You know, if I get rid of me, um, alright. So double kick hits twice, right? Naturally. It's a double kick. But then double slap can hit five times. There's no real logic in that. Like, are you all of a sudden gonna make, uh, double kick able to hit five times? Because there's no need for that. think I'm very prepared for a Machamp. I think they're holding back that Jolteon, or not Jolteon, that Beautify like it's going to do something. That did oh gosh. Um... I'm gonna have to double heal. Okay. Alright, I think I'm just gonna lower its accuracy and see if that'll help me out here. 27 points of damage. I was really hoping that encounters me hitting it with an attack, if I use sand attack. Alright, it's fine, we got this. Let's keep lowering his accuracy. Oh, what am I doing? He has no guard. Uh... Oh, no, wait, no he doesn't. But, oh no, I started, no guard was mentioned in 4th gen. That's right. That's three. There we go.
four. We're just gonna keep going. Five. Good. And six. There we go. No, I'm pretty sure whenever he tried to use revenge, it almost knocked me out, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal. I'm pretty sure if I tried to do anything, it will kill me. I don't have any small healing items. Okay. Fine. Oh, now you hit. Probably gonna matter in this case, like. Honestly, I needed to hit me with another, like, seismic toss or karate chop. to use revenge. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got this. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Fine. Fine. It's fine. Tamar's still around. He's not critting right now. And he used a hyper push too. That's really annoying. Yet he wouldn't hyper potion his beauty fly. Fine too, as long as I'm hitting, he isn't. Wait, let me just real quick check this out. So, your defense is a 48. You have more defense. So, I need to switch to you. As we do get a good heal in here. out of potions anyways. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Now, this beautiful I know it out speeds. And I'm honestly scared it might have gusts. Oh, it's asleep, that's right. Well, I still have speed, so just in case. Just in case. It wakes up first turn. Oh. Okay, we can have stun score. I know this beautiful is Mega Drain, but I don't know if it has another, like, attacking move. I don't think so. Alright, did we win this battle? Yep. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Surya, coming in. Hmm. Blazing gets just such, such like a balanced move set, I feel like. Do I have Surf? Do I have someone who- oh no, I do have someone who can learn Surf. Dugong can't. There's my water type move. Ooh! I have Voice of Med. And it's some kind of normal type move, I know that. 
Okay, somebody's actually half blank, so they're just... Oh, there you are, Dor. Please come with me, I have something I want to have. You'd have. Norman, if you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow your dock for a minute or two. Instant exit to gym. I like that. Don't even have to go through all those rooms. Doc, uh, please excuse us for dragging you away from here. Dragging you here this way. But our wall, be our wall has become very healthy since he went to Fern Turf Town. We all don't we owe it all to you. When all of town you help him get to one, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually not just Wally, it made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I really like you'd have this. Ah, that's right. If you Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. I do appreciate that very much. Now, uh, Dugong can have surf. I actually have a stab water type move. Surya, I want to get Surya up to Blaziken. Okay. So we still have a good amount of time, so we can definitely start moving our way towards Ortree City, and which means we can get encounters. I'm pretty sure it's Surf that was stopping us before, wasn't it? That sounds right. Because we need to go back to Mawville now. I guess I always could get encounters on the routes between, like, uh, like the Rustboro, no, basically the routes to Duford. And I'm also remembering that I really need to deposit some items. Okay, so I think my bag's full. Marvel. I'm gonna go ahead and pot some items. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Um. Okay, I'll put that in there. That. That. Both of those for now. Definitely that. City. Yay! I don't know why I'm going this way. It's not even the fastest way. Um. Ripple.
No, my encounters haven't been the best recently, but my fossil restoration has been. Because if you guys have been keeping up on this, I did get a Flappy, and I'm very excited about Oh, that's right, I can do the uh, new Mauville stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that today, and we'll head to Forgery after that. Because we had another TM and some more encounters doing this. So I think there are three static encounters, if I remember right. I totally forgot you could do that. That's crazy. Okay. Go ahead and... Let's see what water encounters we got. Mmm! That would have been fantastic. I actually would have loved it. Uh, just something for me to kick. Just kicking some rock hard balls. Um, no. No, heck. That's kind of annoying, actually. Okay, um. Wow, the levels range so much here. That thing's on par with me. I can't escape from the skip loom. Really? Really, though. Can I please run away? Thank you. Just waste my time. And my items, for that matter. Super annoying. I don't want to have to take my time out of my day just to... Set... Just to heal my paralysis because I couldn't run from level 30 skip loom. It's not really the way I want this to go. I'm just sure I have to unlock that. Okay. Counter for new Mawville. Oh, Ponyta. That's cool. Hi, Ponyta. Sad that I don't have anything to uh, go to status condition, I don't think. No burn. Hmm. There we go. Okay. It's actually been a little while since I actually caught stuff because when I keep encountering stuff, I've been killing it lately. Ponyta is very weak at birth. It can barely stand up. Its legs become stronger as it stumbles and falls while trying to keep up with its parent. That's pretty cool. Isn't that basically what a horse do in the wild, though? Okay. Um, its name will be... Oops. Asti. See what else I can get here. That's pony to still. I just want to see what else I could potentially get here, and then I'll probably throw up a repel. And I still can't run from stuff. Why can I not? Is Combuskin not fast? Like I, I thought he was fast. I'm like nine levels above these things. I really feel like I should be able to run from them. This one? Okay, so I have to be 10 levels above it to run from it. Another moonstone, that's cool. I can always get my Nido King or Clefable. 
That's Sokonita. There are two encounters here, I'm pretty sure. We just scooch over here. And... Okay, I have the red and the white flute. Interesting choices. Oh! I mean, Tentacle is bulky, I just, I, I just don't personally like it. And why can I not escape from stuff? Very annoying. Alright, let me throw up a rebel. There, I'll save you time. I mean, I'm lowering my chances of getting, like, a shiny if I do, but... I think it's worth it. Interesting noise. It's a Gengar! That's power. Oh dude, this thing is mine. Or maybe not. Oh, I really didn't think I was going to curse. I think I just killed it. Oh, it... oh my gosh, are you serious? Don't make the burn kill it. Don't make the burn kill it. Okay, I have one ball I can throw. I'm throwing my ultra ball. I want the Skangar. Oh, come on. <sighs> Man. Just so close. So close to something good. So close. Just sad. Come on, man. It's like the first good and kind of gotten in a little while. You have to burn, Surya. I mean, I just feel like it'd have more special defense than physical. I think I know that noise. Yep. I mean, Octo's not bad. Plus, I don't think I have a flyer yet. Well, I'm pretty sure Noctowl can't hit itself. Get itself with Curse. Alright, that was a crit, I'm fine. That's even better. Is it trying to use- wait, is- is bear- is Reflect a psychic demo that's always trying to use it on me? I got this. It's knocked out. Cool. Okay. It's unfailingly, wait, it unfailingly catches prey in the darkness. Noctowl owes their success to superior vision that allows them to see in minimal light and to their supple and silent wings. I don't feel like you should say supple about a bird's wings. Sounds very strange. All right. This Noctowl's name is... Bjorn. Interesting choice. I don't think I have anyone on my team that can learn to fly, at least. Pretty sure. No. So Noctowl might get added to the team. Oop. 
That's the wrong switch. I need to buy more rebels. Hmm? The trio? No, no. I do, however, very much like Gloom. So. I don't feel like I can actually take a double kick. Um. Sure. I'll let Tamara take this. Do that, please. I might have found the next two members of my team. Because I've actually really won Vile Plume this entire playthrough. Because I have a Psychic TM that I can learn, I'm pretty sure, if you can learn Bullet Seed. Which I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. be asleep and poisoned. She would have led with that gloom. Perfect. Okay. So we're looking at a female gloom. A horribly noxious honey drools from its mouth. Once whiffed, one whiff of the honey can result in memory loss. Some fans are said are said to enjoy this overwhelming stink. However, okay, just give me a second, guys. Poison item. I didn't want to uh, use a berry if I didn't have to. There we go. Alrighty then. And let's poke balls in here. Now I'm gonna slip on out of here. That's not what I wanted to press. Let me run back to Watson here. And I just want to see what TMP gives me. Ooh! Alright, Bone Ring's good. Alright. I 
Nancy can learn it. That's not bad. What does he use for my Thunderbolt? Nancy can make Thunderbolt? Alright. If you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, please like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll be starting to make our way to Fortree City and most likely to the Weather Institute and maybe a rival battle. We'll see. But always remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So please, have a banana.